Hello, this is Paul and welcome back to another one of my Asana training videos. Today, I want to give you some tips and advice for how to deal with overwhelm when your My Tasks page here just gets completely messy and cluttered with tasks and you just don't know what to do or how to plan your time in Asana. This is a common situation that I often find new users run into and uh, I want to give you some tips to, to help you with that today and really just highlight how to use this My Tasks page properly. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please leave me a comment below or if you want one-on-one support with Asana, look in the description below this video to get details of how to inquire about my consulting services and details of how to save 10% on your annual subscription to Asana Premium. So to just provide a bit more context to this, um, to this video first, yeah, like I said, this is a situation I've found a lot of people run into. And I think this is the result of, firstly, people don't know how to use this My Tasks page correctly. And secondly, I think people put more tasks than they need in Asana. I think they're not using Asana appropriately. I think Asana should be for tasks that really you want to work on in, say, the next couple of weeks or a couple of months. A lot of people dump things in Asana, though, of just like notes, things that, you know, it's just like a list of things like notes, really. Uh, Asana's not great for notes, like it can be used for notes, but you have to be careful with that. Um, the other thing is like articles or books that you want to read, people put all of that kind of stuff in here. Again, there are ways of doing it neatly and tidily. Um, and then other things like ideas as well. A lot of people dump ideas, you know, we have these like someday maybe lists. Um, if you're a getting things done GTD follower, you'll be very familiar, familiar with this idea of the someday maybe list. And so we put all of our someday maybe stuff in here and we assign it all to ourselves. So all the stuff with your name on it like this, Paul Miner's up here, this all appears on your My Tasks. So this My Tasks page up in the sidebar here, this is a summary of everything assigned to you from all of the different projects that you're working in. Now actually, I'm just in a demo account right now. These actually aren't in projects. I've just created a bunch of tasks in here for the for this example, but um, this, what we're looking at, is a very common scenario that I'm used to seeing working with clients. And you can see here, there's a bunch of tasks, a lot of them, are due maybe today or this week, some are overdue, some are due later next month. And really just looking at this one long list, it's very hard to prioritize our tasks and plan our time just looking at this. And so maybe this is a view that you're used to seeing. And so let us uh, let me show you how we can start to tidy this up. Firstly, let me just highlight how to use this page correctly. Now I've actually talked about this before in a different video on how to use Asana throughout the day. So go back and watch that video if you haven't already. Just to recap briefly though, Asana in the My Tasks page gives you these different sections. Everything new that you put in here that other people or, or yourself, you know, that you assign to yourself, all these tasks go into this new section. And they're basically like unread emails. And actually that new section is basically a temporary holding place. You actually need to go and look at the task and decide what to do with it and actually sort it into one of these sections, which is today, upcoming, or later. So for example, this one that's due today, I would click on this blue dot and I mark it for today. This one's later this week, so actually look, there's the video I'm recording. I'm going to mark that as upcoming because it's coming up later this week. And then something later this month in a few weeks I'm going to mark for later. So now we can see these sections start to being built out. And the later section you can keep closed like this. But the nice thing is, is that the tasks will move through these sections. So one week away from this due date, so on the 11th next Monday, this task will automatically move up into upcoming. I won't have to do that, Asana will just make that change for me at sort of when the date changes at midnight. And then on the 18th, when I log in to Asana, it'll automatically be in my today section. So it's really nice because Asana can kind of do some of the planning for you and say like, this is what you need to work on today. The other way that you can use the today section is as I've just done here, I could put this task in my today section because I wanna think about or work on it today, even though it's due in a few weeks. Now to get the most value from this page, and I think to plan your time and your tasks more effectively, this page needs to really not be too overwhelming with all the stuff that you're working on. It should really be maybe the 10, 20, 30 or so tasks that you're really working on this week and over the next couple of weeks that you really want to get done. All those like ideas, articles you want to read, A, don't assign them to yourself. Um, because that will mean they don't show up on here, or B, put them into a different project, like a someday maybe project, so that you can go back and visit them uh, rather than having to try and manage it all on here. And if you follow this advice, it means that the My Tasks page actually, rather than being a huge mess, will actually be the you know 10 to 20 things that are really important and really urgent that you are planning to get done in the next few days or few weeks. So that's my first piece of advice is with the dates that you've already got on here, go through and sort them into today, upcoming and later.
Second thing you can do is actually be really honest with yourself about do these tasks even belong in here? Are these tasks even worth my time? You know, this is a prioritization question. If we think about what's, what's a high priority, is it important to me? And you know, only you can answer that based on the goals and the, the things that you're working on, your, whatever you're trying to achieve. And is this urgent? Like how soon do I have to do this? You know, this is the typical way that we evaluate priority. Because a lot of people I think put all these, yeah, like someday maybe ideas and things in here and it gets really overwhelming. And I'm personally not a huge fan of this someday maybe list. I used to dabble with this concept a little bit, but now, pretty much everything that I go that goes into my asana is stuff that I'm planning to do in the next few weeks or few months that has a date where I've committed to working on it. I don't really have any of these someday maybe lists anymore because if something really is important, I'll plan to do it. If it's not important, I'm not going to put it in here. If it, if it keeps coming up in my mind again and again, if it's really important or if it's a really good idea, it'll keep coming up. I'm not going to forget it and I'll eventually schedule time to work on it. And I think then if you get rid of your someday maybe list, it actually means that um, you are not you don't feel guilty for having all this stuff that you haven't done. And I think the someday maybe list can be a bit of a distraction as well. It distracts you from those few tasks that are critical and very important and all this someday maybe stuff that you might find something on there that looks really fun and so you get distracted with. So that's, that's my second kind of piece of advice is just um, doing a bit of a self audit and looking at what tasks should you even have in here. And it means being really honest. You might just have to delete a lot of this stuff because it's just not important or not urgent. And that's something you have to be really honest with yourself about. Now, the third little tip you can use here, and I've, I'm going to contradict myself because I've just said I don't like the someday maybe list, but I do appreciate some people want to not forget their ideas and have a place to store these things. So what I've done with a number of clients is let's set up a new project here. We'll go a new project and let's just call this whoop, someday slash maybe. So it's going to put a new project in my sidebar here, someday maybe. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just take, let me just sort a few more of these tasks. So let's say that's today. This one's upcoming. Okay, these two are upcoming. Okay. So I've planned and I've got all the stuff that I really want to work on in the next few weeks. Everything else, this is all that stuff that falls into that category of like not important, not urgent right now. I want to put it on my someday maybe list. Oh, I actually can't edit more than 50 tasks at once. So let's just do to there. Okay, we'll add these tasks to the someday maybe project. And now what I'm going to do is unassign them from myself. And I'll just do the same with these remaining Eight here, we'll add those to someday maybe, and I'm gonna unassign. That way, now, all of this stuff that's like, not sure if I wanna do it yet, it's an idea, a note that I don't wanna lose track of, we put it all into this kind of folder project. And you could, you could sort this project how you like, you could create a section here for like, you know, articles, um, you could have another one for books, and you know, you could, you could sort these however you want. But it means that you can clear your my tasks of everything that's not important and not urgent right now so that actually what you have left on here is all the really important stuff that has a due date on it that you're planning to do in the next couple of days, couple of weeks, that kind of time frame. And then what you can do is on a regular basis, maybe it's just once a week, you go into this someday maybe project and you can scan the list and go, okay, what ideas or what tasks in here do I think are now important that maybe I should move on to my main list? So to do that, let's say I've got my... GST return, I can then go, right, this is important, so I'm going to put it on my task list and I will remove it from someday maybe. And so now it goes on to my task list up here and I'll go, okay, when am I going to do this? I'm going to do it later this week and I'll put it in upcoming to sort it accordingly. So you can see, looking at this, this page is far more manageable now. It's much easier to just plan my time, to prioritize my work, because I have a really realistic number of tasks in here. I've moved everything else into this kind of someday maybe holding project until it becomes important, in which case I'll move it back. So there you are. Those are some thoughts on if you do have a bit of an overwhelming, messy task list, how you can clear things up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching this video.